So I want to show you the power of a three by three matrix. Let's go to section 2.4 and look at one of the problems. So let me share my screen and I already have that page open. Uh, so this is one of the problems that we are expected to use a three by three matrix. Uh, we have a manufacturer of portable tools having three sets, basic, homeowner and pro. Uh, they must be painted, assembled and packaged for shipping. So we have the table that uh, the painting for basic is um, um, going to take 1.4 hours, then the homeowner for four, homeowner 1.9 and the pro 2.5 and on and on. And it also says if the manufacturer has 125.5 hours of painting for, uh, for one day per day, 82.6 uh, for assembly per day and 71.4 hours for packaging per day, how many sets of each type can you produce each day? So, I hope you can appreciate the fact that this is going to be a really hard problem to figure out using systems of equations simply because there's so many decimals in here. It's not impossible. And when I say that it's hard, it's really tedious. So let's just uh, use the matrices um, and figure out the, the, the answers. And my hope for you is that really to develop and appreciation for uh, matrices. So let me go ahead and uh, stop share and get my, uh, my pad involved so I can write down. First, let's write down, um, let's write down the uh, system of equations for this particular problem. According to, according <clears throat> to the, information that we have, the table given to us, I can claim that 1.4x plus 1.9y plus 2.5z equals 125.5. Um, I can claim that 1x or just x plus 1.2y plus 1.6z equals 82.6. And finally, I can claim that 0.7x plus 0.7y plus 1.9z equals 71.4. So once again, I want you to look at this and really appreciate the fact that this is gonna be a very tedious system to solve. Yes, we can do it, but let's use matrices. Let's appreciate the power of uh, matrices. So I'm gonna rewrite this in terms of matrices. Let me go ahead and go to the next page. Okay, so I have, um, the coefficients are 1 1.4, 1.9, 2.5, uh, 1, 0.7, 1.2, 0 0.7, 1.6, 1.9. And here is my x, y, and z. And that should equal 125.5 82.6 and 71.4. Now, <clears throat> notice that the, this whole thing is the coefficient of my unknowns. So remember like in back in algebra, let's say if you had um, two X equals 10, well, you wanted to, you know, you wanted to get rid of this two, so you could multiply both sides by the inverse of two, one half. So you could say, oh, x equals five. So we are gonna do the same logic. We're gonna multiply 
both sides of this equation, and here's my equal sign right here, we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of the matrix. And how do you find the inverse of matrix? You can do it both by hand. I don't recommend it. It takes forever. Or you can use a calculator, a TI-84, a TI-83. Or even you can go online and just go to Google and write down you know, uh, um, inverse calculator for, for matrix. And some pages come up. You can just plug in your numbers and press Enter, and it tells you what the inverse is. And let me just continue. So here, what I have in here is, right now I have a matrix A, this one, this one, times the matrix B, this one, equals some matrix C. So how can I get rid of this A? I need to multiply both sides of this equation by A inverse. So if I do that on the left-hand side, let me write here. So here's my AB. So notice that I'm multiplying both sides of this equation by A inverse. So this cancels this. So I'm left with B equals A inverse of C. Okay. And if I do that, then I can find what is X what is y and what is z, as easy as that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and at this point, disengage my iPad and go to a TI-84 on my uh, desktop and show you the rest. So let me, uh, I'm trying to disengage the, Okay, so the uh, iPad is not there anymore. Let me share screen one more time. And this time, uh, go to, so hopefully you can see this uh, TI-84 here right now on my screen. And uh, so first of all, if I go to uh, second matrix, and well, let me turn it on first and go to second matrix and it's did not once again let's turn it on oh we did it now okay go to second matrix notice that number one is let so i'm going to scroll over go to edit and enter and I already have, look at the numbers that are 1 1.4, 1.9, 2.5, 1, 1.2, 1.6, 0.7, 0.7, 1.9. I already entered them in there. So let's say that, you know, and all you have to do is just use this enter volume and go one by one. And if you need to change anything, you know, it definitely can. So after you are putting all the numbers in, all the numbers that you want, according to the problem that you have. So if you go to uh, second mode, which is in fact quit, you know, you can probably read that in blue right here. And now I'm gonna rewrite, you know, I'm gonna write the second matrix. So I go again to second matrix. This time I want to go to Another matrix, you see, I'm gonna, I, I went to number two, go enter, okay? I have a three by one matrix. I already put the numbers in here. And so let me go to second, quit, okay. Now I want to do that matrix operation, which was A inverse times, uh, uh, um, times, well, B equals A inverse times C. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first write here that go to second, okay, matrix. And I'm going to just choose my first right here. You see, it chose my uh, the first uh, matrix. But remember, I wanted to 
have the inverse of that. I wanted to have the inverse of that. So I'm gonna click on this X inverse right here. Notice now it's recognizing that I'm, I want to do an operation with the inverse of the matrix and then times, okay, uh, the second matrix, which is, I'm gonna go back again to matrix. And this time I want to pick the second one, enter. Notice it says A inverse, you know, the, the inverse of the first matrix times B. I'm gonna enter and it gave me some really weird answers. Uh, I, let's go back and find out why the answers are really, really, so let me go second matrix and go to the uh, first one, checking our numbers, 1.4 is correct, 1.9 is correct, 2.5, 1, 1.2, 1 1.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 1.9. So this is correct. So let's go to second, quit. And now um, let me clear all this. Go to matrix and let's look at the second matrix. Let me see if I if I have the numbers correctly. The numbers were, you see, I made a mistake on the first number. I put 12.5. It should be 125.5. So let's go enter, enter. So 125.5, enter. 82.6 is correct. Uh, 71.4 is also correct. So let's go to second quit. Now we are, I'm gonna pick up my first matrices. So second matrix, and I'm gonna go to enter A. Now I want inverse of that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on inverse times, times uh, my other, matrix, the second one, and enter, and there I am. Those are the answers, 25, 20, and 21. What does that mean? That means that x equals 25, y equals 20, and uh, z equals 21. And listen, even with the fact that I made, I made an error on uh, punching a number, a wrong number in the calculator, we finish this in less than five minutes. That's the power of matrices. And of course, calculators too, you know, I'm, you, you, I should appreciate both of them. All right, I, I hope you really develop a taste for matrices and I'll talk to you soon, thanks.